chance in New Jersey to make history and importantly to build a future. A future where more of America will look more and work more like this community college does. A place where no one is excluded by race, no one is excluded by income, everybody has a chance to live up to the fullest of their God-given abilities, where we're all going forward together. Promise to work to increase educational access for those who need the college, to expand services to our students in our community, and to keep academic excellence at the forefront as I lead the college in the years ahead. I'm truly humbled and honored to have been given this opportunity, and I promise to work with our board, our faculty, staff, and our many friends and supporters in the community to make the augury of the birds a reality for the students and community at Camden County College. Thank you. Autism awareness advocates say new legislation puts New Jersey on the front lines in the battle against the developmental We're disorder. We're not quite sure how it's caused. That's part of what's exciting about this bill because it continues to funnel money toward research. Camden County College professor Jennifer Hoheisel says the influx of funds, early intervention, and teacher training should give hope to those dealing with autism. The 1960s marked the beginning of the community college movement in New Jersey. This week, Camden County College is celebrating its 40th the anniversary. Camden County College held its first day of classes. Bill Wilhelm is a professor at the college and a member of its inaugural class. This was a, a general area for congregation. It was, a, it was a great time. We knew that we were the founding fathers and sisters of something that was new. For Camden County, making public education at higher education available and affordable was a gigantic step in the community college movement in 1967. Community college presidents say a majority of the student body is made up of students right out of high school, but another trend is emerging. Young retirees, let's say, who are looking to do something other than play golf in their, in their senior years, and many of them will come to the college for enrichment courses or degree programs. While working, I always wanted to go back to school. So I did retire, and this is my dream come New true. New Jersey is making it cheaper for students to earn a bachelor's degree. Credits earned at county colleges will now have to be accepted at the state colleges and universities. Governor John Corzine signed the new transfer program into law at Camden County College's Cherry Hill campus today. 
And now NBC 10 News, where you live today in Blackwood, New Jersey, and CSI move over. It was Crime Scene Investigation Career Day at Camden County College. Students from Gloucester City High School conducted a high Camden tech Higher Ed and Healthcare Task Force issued a report that found of $32 million spent so far in that sector, more than $300 million has been leveraged in other the, spending. The fact is, is that hope is being practiced every day and and progress is being uh, delivered every day and this uh, report I think captures that. And it's also Give Kids a Smile Day. NBC 10 in Gloucester Township as kids get free dental screenings at Camden County College. Dental hygiene students and staff volunteered for this big event. The youngsters were also taught the proper way to care for their teeth. A longtime Camden County College employee and faculty member, each of these men was a member of the very first class to enroll at Camden County College when it was founded in 1967-68. Yeah. So for, for 40 years ago today, they were finishing up their first year here at the college, which was the college's first academic year. These charter students, also among the earliest graduates, and are here today to honor one of their own with Camden County College's first Outstanding Alumnus Award, which was created as a part of our 40th anniversary observance. Professor Wilhelm. Resolution that has been adopted by the Camden County College Board of Trustees to officially name Jean Tony as the winner of the very first Outstand, outstanding Alumnus Award. After all the doubts that you faced, after the steepness of the hills in front of you, after the detours in your life and in your path, this is your day. This is a day to celebrate, it is a day to reflect on your circumstances, and it's a day for optimism because we believe so strongly in your ability to rise to the occasion and make our country rise with you. The celebration is obvious. With the stillness of the night, 
There comes a time to understand, to reach out and touch tomorrow. Take the future in our hand. We can see a new horizon built on all. today announced an $83 million investment to accelerate Camden County College's 20-year master plan to transform the black community. You think campus. it's never going to happen. Well, it's going to happen. Today is the reality. We actually begin the building at 56% of this campus. What you see here is the bones of an amazing facility that will move us dramatically forward to serve our county residents. A year later, we're here with our topping home. One, two, three.